the home stretch. What an awesome day. And I'd just like to thank uh, the organisers for the opportunity of speaking with you today. I'm going to touch on the topic of mentoring. Mentoring, both as I have experienced it, mentoring as it's something that's very important to me, maybe some observations around the different dimensions of mentoring. But it's something that I've really believed is critical in the way that we as a society support and develop our entrepreneurs. I've had the fortune for the last 10 years to work with a number of amazingly inspiring entrepreneurs that are out there changing the world, building new products, making new things, solving big problems. And so from that, I've drawn a lot of what I'll share with you today. First rule of TED, don't use slides with lots of words in them. So I thought I'd start with a definition of what mentoring is. There's a lot of words up there, but I think I can distill them down into just one. It's about trust. So the strongest mentoring relationships come from this basis of trust. Trust in what you are sharing with the person that you are mentoring. Trust as a, somebody who is being mentored in what words of advice and guidance that you're receiving. Also trust in the relationship you develop with the person who is your mentor. So trust is, I think, at the core of what we find in all strong mentor relationships. I've been very fortunate to mentor a bunch of people and be mentored by some amazingly inspiring people. People that I work with, people that perhaps I've had the opportunity of meeting through my professional career, people who have reached out to me that maybe have just come through other, uh, other channels. People, I think, that have, uh, have been part of my story and have added to the, to the wisdom and the knowledge that becomes essential to, to any mentoring relationship. So why? Why is mentoring so important in, in entrepreneurship in particular, in the world of the startup company? One of the things is that building a, a new business, being an entrepreneur that is out there solving big problems, is full of dark days and stormy clouds. It's not easy to build something massive that's going to have real impact. So how do you see through this, these stormy clouds, these stormy times? A lot of it comes to knowledge. And that's often what we seek when we reach out for mentors. We seek, we seek some access to some knowledge. But I don't think it's just knowledge in its own right. I think the most important thing that a mentor can do is to provide context. We can reach out and secure knowledge from many different sources these days. But I think what a mentor can do is to provide that layer of context so that you get the confidence to act on that. Context for the knowledge that you're able to access. Time. I think mentoring, is a, a lot of it is about time. I often laugh when someone sort of demands to be mentored. Uh, it doesn't work that way. It, it takes time to build up the relationship, build up that essential trust that is core to any mentor relationship. And I think it also requires an investment from all parties to make it successful. And that's really where the time comes in. We need to be comfortable with the amount of time that's going to be required. People ask me, how do you find a mentor? I think sometimes people have this idea that you go and search out Gandalf. <laughs> You're this person who is all-knowing that can go and fight demons and dragons on your behalf. But the reality is that uh, you know, these are just normal people. Most mentors are not Gandalf the Grey. Neither are they people who are members of a committee. It's really, I suppose, the essence of mentor that you go and seek out is, is people who perhaps are those around you today, your peers. Your peers are often the greatest source of, of mentors, I believe. So what is in it for me if I'm a mentor? You know, a lot of people think that it's about cash or money or incentives. But the reality is that it's all about pushing forward together with the person you're building a relationship with. So somebody that is seeking out a mentor needs to be really conscious of that. Uh, it's an investment of time. It's put exposing your trust to the people you build these relationships with. So we all want alignment. We want to be doing something that's awesome together. 
And I think what's really important when you think about it that way is that it's also something coming back to you. And I can honestly say that as someone that has a number of mentor relationships that are very deep, full of trust, that have taken time to develop, what motivates me to continue and protect them and nurture them is the fact that I learn just as much from the people that I work with as I'm sure that they do from me. So it is this two-way street, this learning environment that we have. I think also it's important to note that it's, it is something that, uh, that comes to us quite freely. So it, as I said before, it's not about the cash, because I think that's more what a coach is. You get a coach to teach you how to perfect your, your serve in tennis. This is not about perfecting you to be the best entrepreneur. This is about providing somebody the support that they need to fulfill their potential. I think it's really important in the context of Australia, particularly Australian entrepreneurs. You know, we often look at Silicon Valley as a place that has been hugely successful at building, breeding this culture of entrepreneurship. If you think you look at the below the level of success and the shiny lights of, uh, of world domination, I think at the heart of it is this concept of paying it forward. All successful entrepreneurs that I've ever met, both here in Australia and overseas, have been helped along the way to that success. And so we all acknowledge that in order for us to share that success with people who follow us, it's, it's, it's our role to provide that support to those, those, those people. In Australia, there are a bunch of ways that I think this is starting to emerge. Startmate is a formal program that brings together successful Australian entrepreneurs to help that next generation of, of startup uh, founders to build great businesses. Ignition Labs is a program run at ATP Innovations to focus on scientists, researchers, entrepreneurs that are building great deep technology businesses. Again, drawing on a pool of mentors who willingly provide their advice and guidance to those starting this journey. Because building a great company is really hard. You know, when we look at uh, the social network, the Facebook movie, that vignette in the middle where they're all drinking energy drinks and writing code, it's kind of boring, so it doesn't make it on the big screen. But that's where all the hard work happens. It's where people make mistakes. It's where people find that uh, they don't really know what they're doing. It's when those dark days can become quite a challenge. And I think one of the greatest things that an entrepreneur can do is just prevent people making mistakes. They're not going to prevent all mistakes, but they're going to prevent the simple ones. Provide that encouragement, provide that guidance, provide that wisdom. Because I think if we look at the Australian economy, you know, tech startups could, if we do this well, make a huge impact on the growth and success of this, this nation. By, by two, 2033, you know, $110 billion contribution from the tech startup community. Because things are changing rapidly. There are lots of people out there that are seeing problems, big problems they are passionate about solving, problems that they really want to go and create elegant solutions for. And mentors are in a critical role in that to provide that advice, to provide that steering, that nurturing, that advice to ensure that, uh, that those successes are realised. I think it all starts by asking starts by asking. So that's what I want to leave you with. By asking someone a question, perhaps that starts the clock ticking on building trust that may result in a lasting mentoring relationship. Thank you.